Hey, Virgo Sun Rising and Venus. This is what we got going on for April 25th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more on my website. <laughs> I also have a new package, Virgo. It's called Chat with Barbie. And in this chat with Barbie, it's not a tarot reading. It's just simply a chat with Barbie. It's so much fun for anyone who just, you know, just needs someone to talk to or something like that. So just know that it can be there for you guys if you guys need something. Um, uh, <laughs> it's really cute, Virgos. Um, but if you guys ever want to purchase the chat with Barbie after you guys purchase like the readings or whatever, you guys can do that too. Um yeah <laughs> it's very cute it's very fun very playful um but if you are going to make a purchase for a tarot you can do the tarot and if you want to sit there and talk a little bit longer whatever then i would suggest you do the chat with barbie because i won't be able to go over the time <laughs> so just for you guys to know all right virgos regardless though let's get a virgos for monday april 25th 2022 let's get it sweeties coming in with the star in reverse the three of swords and the two of pentacles you guys are finally healing from the pain the heartache here there could be a a pisces a cancer an aquarius a capricorn a gemini a Libra, a Leo as well, who might be going through some shit at the moment here, Virgos. However, though, however, though, there is an Aquarius who feels so hopeless at the moment with the star card in reverse, five of pentacles. They're a family life, you know, Virgos. Maybe this person's going through a lot of shit at the moment. Their family life is going down the drain. Nothing is moving in their favor. A lot of impulsive conversations with the eight of wands to the four of swords in reverse. Like a lot of shit talking, a lot of bad shit is happening they're probably even suffering from poverty too, maybe even finances as well, but they are going through quite a bit with the star card in reverse. They feel at a huge loss. They don't feel good. They're very much so unhappy. It's like everything that made them happy is no longer making them happy. Ten of cups in reverse. There's a lot of heartache here, but definitely on you guys' part, Virgos, you guys are definitely, uh, what is that word called? You guys are healing yourselves. <laughs> you guys are saying, you know what, I don't have time, you know? And this is probably your, the deceptive person that was on you guys, Pisces, Aquarius energy. And this person might be even feeling stuck at the moment in a lot, a lot of lost <laughs> illusion, you know, since the full moon energy and in coming into the new moon energy just now on April 28th, this person's going to be feeling it quite a bit. Um, there is going to be a planet that's going retrograde. I think it might be Pluto or something like this, Virgos. Uh, regardless though, this person's in a lot of illusion. This person is deceptive to you. They're stuck. They can't move forward. They're, 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 they're hurt. They're heartbroken. They're unhappy. A lot of shit talking. Maybe even messages going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, but I mean, a lot of arguing is what I'm seeing here, sweeties. And somebody here has definitely taken a look at the text messages with the Seven of Pentacles. Like they're just sitting there reminiscing, thinking about the things that they've done. And as they should, especially if somebody here tried to be deceptive on you and then they got fucked up with the Knight of Cut, with the Knight of Wands in reverse and they got stuck and they don't know what to do and they don't know how to move forward. It's like this person's like literally thinking about their actions with the Seven of Pentacles. You guys got a Gemini Libra Aquarius who was in a, who was attacking a spiritual person, somebody who was of the divine with the Knight of Swords to the Hierophant. This person was attacking a very spiritual person, a very anointed person, somebody who is, is at a very high regard in the spiritual realm. And maybe this person was attacking their love life in some sort of way with the lovers, Seven of Cups and the Devil card, Capricorn energy, Gemini energy. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and even a Taurus here, sweeties, all right? This person was acting a whole lot of craziness, Virgos, and the things that they were saying was very vicious and very mean, uh, for maybe even for the ones that could be also married to. Maybe you guys are having a hard time in your marriage as well, and you guys are just feeling it's just really toxic. It's bringing you guys a lot of confusion regarding this relationship. Maybe some of you guys are only in this relationship with your person at the moment just to be in it. But you guys are trying to free yourself with the devil in reverse from all the confusion, all the uh, getting, yeah, being high. Someone's here might be always high all the time with the seven of cups to the devil card in reverse, but they might be trying to free themselves from it. It's creating a lot of, like, I just heard schizophrenia. Somebody may be even feeling schizophrenic at certain times too, right? And <laughs> shit, Virgos, you guys got to be careful with your addictions if that is the case. If you guys are fine and then you guys have addictions and then the addiction is causing you schizophrenia, I would say either change change what it is that you guys are doing or just stop it all together. You guys don't need to gain a mental illness from, from stupid shit. Regardless, though, sweeties, 
somebody here is going to be making you feel like they're they're attacking you in some sort of way knight of swords if this person's coming after a spiritual person i want you to know you're gonna get fucked up for it also virgos Somebody here might be in a relationship with somebody just to be in a relationship with them with the lovers in reverse, but this person might not just genuinely be happy at all. They might be very confused, drinking a whole lot, but they're trying to free themselves with a devil card in reverse. And uh, you guys are not chasing anybody or anything like that. You guys are just simply staying as the hierophant upright. Like you guys already know that God is going to watch over you, take care of you here too. And God's hands up, the hierophant's hands up, the, the higher realm, the divine, their hands are right up on this Gemini Libra Aquarius. You, you want to come and hurt our anointed ones, then watch what we're going to do to you. Um, <laughs> this person might be very jealous, very envious of you. Nobody wants to fuck with this person anymore with the five of sword energy. <sighs> this person thinks that they're all that and everything. Maybe they are. Maybe they are, Virgos. But at the end of the day, you guys are going to be receiving a message coming in from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Nine of Pentacles. This person is ready to reach back out to you guys again. You guys got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius there who has been watching you, spying on you. This person is very curious about you here too. But at the end of the day, Virgos, you guys are going to be just fine no matter what. Um, people are going to see this Empress for who they are, which is a very manipulative, selfish person too. And when this person gets left behind, that nobody wants to even fuck with this Empress anymore, everyone's going to start coming back to you, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You guys are still going to be single. You guys are still going to be fine. You're not worried about what's happening because you guys know that in real, in, in realistically, when you're not hurting anybody, whether people know it or not, it doesn't matter. You guys know yourselves at the end of the day. So if you're not going out of your way to physically and spiritually hurt anybody, but people want to get fucked up with the seven of cups to the devil card in reverse and assume that maybe you're the one doing it and when you're not doing it all right then because from what i'm seeing here there's an empress who's on some stupid shit with the five of swords and then when this person comes to the realization that you're not doing nothing they're coming back for you nine of pentacles all right virgos this you guys felt like it was just a huge loss with the ten of wands in reverse this person may have even gotten you ungrounded or maybe to the point where you guys honestly don't trust this person anymore and they're really worried that if they were to come back for you that they're not going to, you're going to reject them with the four of cups in reverse. Like, are you going to be able to forgive them for whatever this person has done, right? <clears throat> and it brought a lot of instability with the ten of pentacles in reverse, but definitely a situation that can be fixed and hindered and amended. Two of cups, four of wands. You guys are still going to meet up with this person. You guys are going to find a way to rekindle a relationship with the two of cups to the four of wands. And once you guys can put an end to the gossip, the bullshit, the, the fake friends, the, the people who are trying to hinder you and hinder your relationship, you guys will eventually get the strength back, Virgos, and be able to take care of yourselves. You might have somebody here who's trying to control a situation or even try and control you or whoever this person is for you guys. But it's saying that no matter what Virgos, you guys are going to break free from it. Three of Cups in reverse. And you guys are officially going to be putting an end to it. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Page of Swords. There might be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who might be watching you, spying on you here at the moment. This person might be becoming very defensive as well with the Seven of Wands. Maybe this person also has you on blocks at the moment too, Virgo. And you guys are looking at this person like, what are you defending yourself for? Who, like, who are you defending yourself from? No one is hurting you. No one's hurting you. So what are you defending? Like... Who are you? Who are you trying? Like, what are you trying? What like, what are you doing? Seven of Wands. Like, you're sitting there at the King of Cups. Like, mm, why are you feeling like I'm attacking you? I'm coming at you on some genuine shit, and you're and you're coming at me like you have to protect yourself in some sort of way. Fucking weird, Virgos. <laughs> people are just weird out here. Like, people go out of their way to block people for no reason. Like, what are you blocking somebody for when they're not doing you wrong? You're coming in as the King of Cups. You're coming in as the King of Cups. You're fucking genuine as fuck. <laughs> I think you guys need to put your guard up 100. And if anyone's going to treat you like that, then you can go ahead and treat them like that. So when you have nothing to hide, when you come in with genuinity and sincerity and loyalty and honesty and kindness, you need to be more protective of who it is that you are. Because not everybody deserves somebody like you, Virgos, King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who might be trying to come back for you, Virgos, but this person is fighting, struggling, having a really hard time. Yeah, because you guys are you guys are about to be recognized. You guys are going to be successful doing your thing. And whatever the case is, Virgos, like somebody here, 
they want to come back to you, but they want to come back to you slowly. This person is going to be taking their time, right? But they are going through a lot of troubles at the moment with the five of wands. Lots of challenges here too. Somebody here might not have the ability to even ever see you guys again with the with a judgment in reverse. This person might also be worried or afraid of you too, Virgos. But it's more so that they're afraid of judgment. Like I think this person really does believe with the nine of wands to the judgment card. Like if that they're going to be receiving their karma in some sort of way, and they're actually really, really worried about it. Like, they are worried about it. Somebody here is fighting a lot with the Five of Wands and the Nine of Wands, and they're battling, they're fighting a whole lot, but this has to happen in order for someone to put their guard down, and you, you have to protect yourself from the correct people. That's what this is honestly saying. You protect yourself from the people that you need to protect yourself from. People who are coming at you, trying to be a friend to you, trying to love you, trying to be sin sincere with you. Why are you challenging them? Why are you challenging them? And until you understand who these people that are bringing conflict into your life with the five of wands, we're going to make sure you stay in the nine of wand energy. Because you're not catching on. Somebody here is not waking up with the judgment card in reverse. You see the judgment. But you're not understanding what's happening around you in in your energy. You don't understand. So you're 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 attacking who? You know, you're blocking who? Who are you blocking? Right? And then you're here arguing and fighting with somebody here, five of wands, nine of wand energy. You need to understand who the people are that you're beefing with and the people that you need to keep close to you who are actually coming in towards you to support you and help you out. All right, there could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius here too who might be very afraid of what is is what yet is what. <laughs> there could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's very afraid of what's yet to come for them with the judgment card in reverse. Maybe the judgment hasn't even happened just yet, but judgment's coming in for this person. They're very, very aware and very worried at the same time um, what's yet to come for this person. Gemini Libra Aquarius, this person might be at a crossroad or they may have even gotten caught for whatever it is that they're trying to do to you. Virgos, you're in the new moon energy. Somebody's going to be getting blocked locked with the two of swords to the full card it could be an aries a gemini libra aquarius and maybe even a leo uh this person might be trying to reach out to you virgos but even then you guys are moving on with your life you guys have a bunch of money that's coming towards you guys with the sun card ace of pentacles to the two of wands so congratulations for your money virgos you guys this money is going to start booming up a whole lot especially if you guys felt like your money was being blocked in some sort of way with the four of pentacles Please make sure, Virgos, that you're clearing up your 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 heart space, your solar plexus, your sacral, and your root chakra. These are so important. I would always just say just take care of yourself and clear all your chakras anyway. But genuinely, the the four chakras is, are very important for you guys, Virgos. So the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, and the heart space. Clear those chakras up for yourselves and get going. All right? <sighs> Also, Virgo, spend some time with, in the sun, be outside, spend time in nature, go for a walk and, and spend time on the grass with barefoot so you guys can get grounded again. That Grounding yourself really helps with blood circulation. It helps with so many areas of your life when you guys are walking on grass barefoot. So always do that because it, it, it helps you out in so many, in like many ways it helps you out, all right? Uh, regardless though, you guys got money coming towards you, Virgos. Make sure you guys are not spending all your money in one area there. And you guys got an emperor, an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra who wants to come in. They want to talk to you. A lot of you guys might have love for this person, but at the same time, sweeties, it's like, yeah, I don't mind sharing the love that I have for you, but I need to make sure that whatever it is that you're trying to say to me, it's going to be good. Somebody here also, Virgos, is going to be getting a pay raise from their employer. They're going to be giving you, um... A promotion as well, which is going to be bringing you guys a lot more happiness. Somebody here is also going to have to sit and figure out if the next promotion that they're going to be receiving, there's something about relocation, Virgo. So maybe somebody here is going to end up getting a promotion that's going to have you relocate to a different area. But even then, it looks like you might, you guys might not want to take it, but you may end up taking it if the money is actually really, really good. All right, you guys got the magician. Somebody here is reflecting on a Virgo, a Gemini. There's some tower shit that's going on. There could be a group of people who's trying to do magic on you guys, Virgos, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody here might be paying other people to help uh, this to destroy. Somebody here is paying somebody to destroy you in some sort of way. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Three of Pentacles. These people are group teaming up with each other, grouping up with each other, and, and trying to figure things out here. This person's receiving a whole lot of shit at the moment with the Tower card to the Six of Pentacles. Somebody here is losing a lot of money as well. Uh, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and... 
and you guys are watching everything and you guys are already ahead of the game you're two fucking smart virgos you guys are always in a hermit mode you're always by yourself so that's why when you're when your circle is so small you know what's going on you know what's happening at every given time nobody can no one can get you it's not possible when you're a hermit nobody can get you but you always these people always be getting got it's the craziest shit ever Regardless, though, sweeties, uh, <laughs> they got a lot of shit coming towards them with the Tower card to the Six of Pentacles. Karma is going to be coming in, and you're going to have to pay up for that. Whatever this magician to the Three of Pentacles was that these people were trying to pull on you, it's time for them to pay up. They've taken more than they should have. Six of Pentacles, the Tower is coming in, and they're going. And the Tower is coming in to fuck everything up. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Virgo and also a Gemini that could be involved but more so with the fact that you being the Virgo and Hermit you guys would be the victims you guys are seeing the shit that's going down you guys are already ahead of your time and already ahead of the game so get ready for for that new moon energy <laughs> yeah Virgos and no way no fucking way it's not gonna happen not now not in a million years you guys are so divinely protected ace of pentacles uh whoa again Ooh, Virgos, you guys are gonna get a little bit of money <laughs> <laughs> so much money Virgo's coming on your way oh my goodness yay if anybody here tried to take any type of money away from you with the three of pentacles king of wands and the six of pentacles hoping that your money is going to be all fucked up Virgo's I want you guys to know that that money's coming back for you tenfold and even more 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 than what you guys have ever ever anticipated and expected from the universe because you're not to do that stuff you're not to pull stupid shit like that like I don't understand why people even do stupid shit to begin with I mean <laughs> uh, yeah i don't know if people are thinking where it goes they're just so crazy but i do see a tower coming in also for a gemini libra aquarius it's not on the spread here virgos i'm i can see it a tower is coming in for a gemini libra aquarius as well uh for the things that they've done to you and they are going to have to learn very much so hard lessons you guys got angels and divine protecting you and taking care of you especially with the temperance ace of cups and the high priestess you guys are definitely very much so taken care of in the spiritual realm virgos you're very highly they said respected virgos you guys are very much so respected here um, because you guys are doing divine's work by helping out the collective in some sort of way and they appreciate that they appreciate your light energy they appreciate the fact that you know how to balance out the, the light and the dark they appreciate that they appreciate that you don't abuse your powers they appreciate the fact that you do the best you can to use your knowledge to the best of your ability to help the uh, a certain amount of people or the collective they appreciate the way that you use your gifts high priestess ace of cups temperance cards a lot of you guys might be earth angels you guys are divinely divinely protected and the angels are always going to make sure that they take care of you anybody here tries to do some sort of spell work virgos on you i want you guys to know that you guys are just fine it's not going to prosper what's going to end up happening is it's going to fuck them up and they're going to have to pay up for it and <laughs> and they will receive their karma you guys are going to do what you need to do to take care of yourself and protect yourselves with the nine of cups energy nine nine virgo somebody here needs to stop the shit that they're doing somebody here has done everything they can to manifest their heart's desires with the nine of nine of cups and you guys have gone through a lot of stress and a lot of pain virgo a lot of you guys have worked really really hard to get to where it is that you guys are at today but now there's going to be a new opportunity coming for you guys which is gonna put you guys in a lot of riches you guys got a taurus virgo capricorn who may have walked away from you but this person's very much so stressed out they walked away from their wish fulfillment they walked away from their happiness you guys didn't do nothing except bring a lot of happiness and prosperity into this person's life when you guys may have walked away maybe shit just started going sideways for this person taurus virgo capricorn this person might be from the past they just said recent past Virgo, so now they want to come back. This person might be missing you because they had walked away from you, but they're now finally getting the clarity that they need with the Ace of Swords. And they know that they hurt you really badly with the Ten of Swords, which brought the relationship and the connection to a complete ending. But they're ready to come back for you, Virgos. Expect a gift from this person. Expect them to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. They want to work on the relationship. But they know that them acting like that, that them putting the ten swords in your back, hurting you like that, was them making, was, like, this person needs to be careful. Like, I'm pretty sure that this person thinks that you may have, <laughs> they're getting their karma for what they've done to you, Virgos, because a lot of you guys are earth angels. A lot of you guys are high priestesses. So if you guys are dealing with somebody and you guys are one of these, 
and you guys are one of these souls and they did this to you, they're going to receive their karma for it. Because when you're not genuinely hurting anybody and this is what they do to you, they're going to receive their karma almost instantly. And that's something that they're going to have to learn to not do again to you, not just to you, to anybody. But when it comes to you, Virgos, you being the high priestess and earth angel, spirit's going to be on their asses. Oh, instantly they're going to be on their ass. So for that, this person thinks that they can get away from karma with the justice card because the justice has seen their sword is right up. They've seen the unjust of the, what this person has done to you. So if they come back again to you to apologize to you and they want to do the same shit again twice, oh, Virgos, that karma's coming in for them tenfold, tenfold. And it's going to put them in a position where they're going to feel all fucked up with the eight of swords and spirit and the angels are going to keep them stuck with the hangman. You're not going to hurt the divine. You're not going to hurt any divine spiritual people you're not going to hurt anybody who is who is doing nothing but being good you're coming towards them after they cause you pain with the knight of cups to the page of cups you're apologizing and then if you want to go out of your way to pull on some stupid shit with the seven of sword and think that you can get away with that listen you can apologize all you want but if your apology doesn't come in with genuinity and spirit is already on your ass with justice card. I want you to know that spirit's going to fuck you up with the eight of swords. And they're going to keep you stuck. Hang man. Please be careful. Be careful on who it is that you're messing with. And who it is that you think that you can betray. Yeah, you might be able to apologize to this specific person. They will forgive you. But believe me when I say spirit and the divine... They'll know what your intentions are. So be careful. There could have been a complete ending. A Scorpio. A Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person's going through a lot of sadness. A lot of regret. This person's going through a lot of destructive energy here as well. But the connection and the relationship. And whatever the hell this shit was. Is coming to a complete ending. This person's going to eventually leave you alone. Six of Swords. And the World card. Somebody here is already about to start to travel Virgos. But maybe for... I, <sighs> They said due diligence. <laughs> I don't know what due diligence. What does it what does it mean, Virgos, right? So they will just just make sure, Virgos, that if you guys are ready to travel, you guys got your documents ready, you guys got your money ready. You're not gonna be putting yourself in a position where you're not gonna have any money to make it way back or to eat or anything. Do do your due diligence. Make sure you guys are always to cal uh calculative. Okay, so they're saying calculate, calculate whatever it is that you need to so you can budget yourself properly when you guys are traveling with the world card to the six of swords i definitely see a travel coming in for you guys it could be overseas it could be over waters for some of you guys it could be to the uk europe it could be um <laughs> asia to virgos and you know asia is a very big place as well right uh regardless so there could be a gemini Libra aquarius who might be going through a lot of sadness and depression uh, at the end of the day, though, Virgos, you guys see everything for exactly what it is. You guys are moving away from the situation, and you guys are putting a complete end to it. Somebody here also had gotten exposed with the World card to the Five of Cups, and that's why they are going to have no choice but to leave you alone because nothing that this person can do, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, no matter what it is that they say, everybody sees them for exactly who they are. Thanks, cuties. Bye.